at my core, and it is through our marriage that, Lord willing, we will both attain salvation. Hey guys, welcome to Berea Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin. Harrison Badka. As you already know, by now you have seen uh, the commentary that's out there in regards to Harrison Badka. He's a kicker for the Kansas Chiefs. He made a speech at uh, Benedictine College. I don't have an issue with people celebrating him. The stuff that he said is conservative things that it shouldn't be hard for anybody else to agree with. But what I'm noticing that the bar has become so low in our society, in our culture, that the things that he said now uh, is things that are going viral. And then there are people who are against the things that he just said, right? Like we understand like, okay, you know, in the sixties and the fifties, like, duh. Okay. That's what women are supposed to be doing. That's what men are supposed to be doing. Right. But th this is where we're at. However, I want to draw attention to, uh, to the comments that he made during his speech. Okay. So I'm going to play parts of the speech. That way you guys, you get the point that I, I am making. Okay, so without further ado, here we have um, Harrison Badka, HB, I guess, just like in short. I hope that's how he pronounces his name. All right, so here is the first clip that I want to share with you. When ideally, it should not be unique at all. For as a father loves his child, so a shepherd should love his spiritual children too. That goes even more so for our bishops, these men who are present-day apostles. Our bishops once had adoring crowds of people kissing their rings and taking in their every word, but now relegate themselves to a... Okay, so Harrison, he's a Catholic, okay? The Benedictine College is also a Catholic college. So whatever he is saying, I get it, right? If you're a Catholic, like you have to celebrate this because this is your teaching. You have to go out the whole nine yards. I guess this is within your theology, right? This is what you support and everything. However, I've seen a wide range of uh, Protestant, right? They are praising the things that he said, but they are not tackling the most important thing about this situation. The things that he is saying, as true as they are, they are temporal things. What about, uh, what about use that opportunity to share the gospel with this guy? What about to use that opportunity to point out the things that he is espousing as far as what Rome teach, as far as what, um, what the doctrine of the Roman Catholics uh, teaches, right? You actually heard him to say like, okay, you know, these are the bishops, right? They are modern day apostles. They are no modern day apostles, Okay. There is nobody, anybody who claims to be an apostle, they are lying. They do not exist. Okay? An apostle, you had to be an eyewitness to Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Nobody is alive today who, 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 who experienced all these things. So... This, uh, that is a false teaching that Roman Catholics actually teaches and believes. So all this is fine and good with the Catholic audience at the Catholic college. Okay, fine. So we celebrate the things that he says about women, about the society and everything cool. But let's not pretend that the things that he says over here should be overlooked. We also need to bring awareness to these things. As far as this thing is going viral, hey, what a better opportunity to bring attention to what the, the teachings of Okay, that's against the scripture. The, uh, that's against the, the gospel. How the teachings of Roman Catholic pervades the gospel. Why can't we take an opportunity to use that as well? Okay, while he's going viral for, for promoting women and everything, like, hey, okay, let's let the gospel also go viral in this situation. But that's not all that he shared. So I want to share with you another, uh, another clip within his message. It was about like 20 minutes, also what he shared. Okay, so here we go primary educator to our children. She's the one who ensures I never let football or my business become a distraction from that of a husband and father. She is the person that knows me best at my core, and it is through our marriage that, Lord willing, we will both attain salvation. I say all of this to you because I've seen it firsthand, how much happier someone can be when they disregard the outside noise. Okay, so this is also another heretical teaching that is found within Roman Catholicism. They do believe in the sacraments, and one of the sacraments is a uh, uh, holy matrimony sacrament. So according to what he just said, right, and it is in keeping with their teaching for sure, they do believe like, you know, marriage, uh, through marriage, they can attain salvation. This is the same thing that Mormons believe, by the way, as well. There will be no marriages in heaven. 
You are not saved by getting married to your wife or to your husband. No marriage is going to save anybody or anyone. You are only saved through faith alone in Christ alone, by grace alone. This is also, these are the reasons why uh, the Reformation started, right? We are protesting, we are still protesting against Rome. As long as the Roman Catholicism is still existing, you have the Pope over there who speaks, uh, who is the vicar of Christ, okay? Who is the Christ representation on earth and they do all these things. Like, no, we cannot stay silent on those things. So what he said there is, is already good. So we need to preach the gospel to HB and to all the people who believe in this particular teaching. I'm noticing that uh, we are so hungry for celebrity, uh, quote-unquote Christians, or celebrity, whatever. Whenever they say something good, we are so quick to jump on the wagon and we promote them and everything else. But... So far, it has not worked out to our to our advantage, to our good. Look what happened to Kanye West. Mm? This guy just came out with an album, a good album, by the way, Jesus is King. Now he's out here uh, opening a corn business. You see what I'm saying? So uh, if, you know, if somebody say, okay, women belong uh, at home, they need to be homemakers, they need to be doing all those things, those things should just be normal in our society. But like I said, the bar has become so low that... We are praising all that and forgetting that, no, this guy just said that the bishops, the apostles of our day, he just says that through his marriage, he hopes to attain salvation. No, HB, you cannot attain salvation with, with, through those things, okay? So, repentance, come to Christ, forsake Roman Catholicism and embrace, uh, uh, <laughs> embrace the, two the two doctrines that the Bible teaches, not what Rome teaches. So that is not all that this gentleman shared. There's also another clip that he shared that I want to uh, be able to share with you guys so you can also hear and see what he said. Okay, so here we go necessity for our lives. But what I think gets misunderstood is that people who attend the TLM do so out of pride or preference. I can speak to my own experience, but for most people I have come across within these communities, this simply is not true. I do not attend the TLM because I think I am better than others, or for the smells and bells, or even for the love of Latin. I attend the TLM because I believe, just as the God of the Old Testament was pretty particular in how he wanted to be worshipped, the same holds true for us today. It is through the TLM that I encountered order and began to pursue it in my own life. Aside from the TLM itself, too many of our sacred tr traditions have been relegated to things of the past when in my parish, things such as Ember Days, days when we fast and pray for vocations and for our priests, are still adhered to. The TLM is so essential that I would challenge each of you to pick a place to move where it is readily available. A lot of people have complaints about the parish or the community, but we should not sacrifice the mass for community. I prioritize the TLM even if the parish isn't beautiful, the priest isn't great, or the community isn't amazing. I still go to the TLM because I believe the holy sacrifice of the Mass is more important than anything else. I say this knowing full well that when each of you rekindle your knowledge and adherence to many of the Church's greatest traditions, you will see how much more colorful and alive your life can and should be. Okay, so you heard him over there saying another heretical teachings that the Roman Catholics uh, teaches and believe. Okay, the TLM, traditional Latin Mass. So... They still, uh, the things that are happening in mass, right? So they do not believe that Jesus dying on the cross, that was once and for all, that was the final atonement, that was the final sacrifice. So every time they are having this mass, they are once again crucifying the road of glory. So it is important for a Roman Catholic to be attending a mass. But that is, that's another heresy form of Roman Catholicism. So according to him, he actually prefers it in Latin, okay? And this is also another reason that also promulgated the Reformation because they did not trust that a regular person should be able to have the word of God in their own hands to be able to read the scriptures in their own language to be able to understand. So they kept it like in Latin. So you go over there, they're speaking Latin. You don't speak Latin. You don't understand Latin. So how else are you going to be able to worship God? How else are you going to be able to praise God? And the other thing he also shared was the tradition. In Roman Catholicism, tradition is at the top, okay? So tradition interprets scripture. But Jesus clearly says, like, no, you know, you cannot pervert the word of God because of the traditions. It's the other way around, okay? Scripture must determine your traditions. There's nothing wrong in having traditions. We all have traditions. But if your traditions supersede scripture, you got it wrong. Your tradition has to come under 
the scriptures. That is not the case with the Roman Catholicism. That's why you have uh, the church, right? The church is at the top, and then the scriptures come below because the um, the magisterium has to determine uh, what you can and cannot do. Okay. In this, whatever in their teaching, so him he prefers, you know, like you know, the original, right? <laughs> As he says, it's not because of bells and whistles, eh? Whatever the case may be, uh, the mass is unbiblical and it's heretical. So, this is also what he ended up sharing. So, everything that he shared, to be honest with you, to an to a Catholic person, you it's just like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, you know, he did call out. Uh, Catholics who are compromising, right? He did call them out. So he attacked everything, okay? So all of a sudden, the feminists, they know who a woman is. <laughs> so they came out of their woodworks, you know, like what do you expect? Every time you touch the sacred cows, right, they're going to come out in their woodworks. So that is to be expected. So I wanted to bring to this attention, like, yes, we can celebrate the things that he said. They are actually true. These are the things that we should be espousing to. We want women to be women, men to be men, women to, uh, their primary care is at the home to do all those things. Yes, and amen. But those things alone, when we compare them to the teaching of Catholicism and the things that he's saying, sorry, absolutely sorry. So this is like, you, it's, uh, what do they say? Conservatism, a Christless conservatism will only get you so far. It's just horizontal, it's not vertical. So we call out to uh, HB, everything that you said, yes and amen to that. But we ask you, we humbly proclaim the good news to you of Jesus Christ. Repent and believe the true gospel of the scriptures. Forget everything else that Roman Catholicism teaches. It is heretical. You're not going to find that in the scripture. But I'm interested to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Be sure to leave me a comment. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.